Well, a day at the ballpark is unlike any other. And this morning, Heidi Glass is showing us something you might be missing. Heidi? Well, you know the typical sounds, the crack of the bat, the yell of the beer vendor guy, that even more beautiful sound when you exit Bush Stadium on Park Street. Chances are, if you've been to Bush Stadium for a game, you've been serenaded by a street performer. It's not exactly uncommon these days. What is rather uncommon, however, is the talent of one of them. Very talented. Very talented. It's one of the best street shows that I've seen since I've been coming down here. Davis has an amazing ability to stop people in their tracks. Because, quite frankly, he can do things with the guitar that take decades to master. Even though he's only been around a little longer than a decade. How old is he? I don't know. Uh, he looks maybe 14 or 15, but he's got it going on. 14? Wow. He's got, uh, he's got a career ahead of him. Somewhere around eight or nine years old, Cole grabbed his dad's guitar. I just, you know, looked over on the couch, saw a guitar, just wanted to give it a try. You know. I'd like to take credit for it, but uh, I, I showed him which side to strum and then started him off. <laughs> It, so here I am with playing the guitar. He can't drive a car. But he's already written about 30 songs. But let's face it, what high school kid wants to spend his Friday night performing on the sidewalk? Well, that was my father's idea. It's a way to get out there and just and perform and see what people like and don't like and just hone your craft. Cole has definitely learned a thing or two on the streets, and it didn't take long to find out what people liked. Ever since I've been playing the guitar out here, people are shouting out Freebird. Of course, with requests comes tips, but I never really expected... Um, hugs. Yeah, hugs. That's what happens when you're only 14. There are even nights when he literally packs Clark Street after a game. There's times when um, you'll see people that have to go, but they stay. You know, you'll see one of the, you know, the wife or the husband pulling on. We gotta go, I and mean, we gotta go. We gotta get the kids. You know, it's late, and uh, they still stay. Feels pretty good, you know. So for now, look for Cole Davis under the street lights along Clark Street. But don't be surprised to see him on stage under the spotlight. Well, after he graduates high school, of course. Is he not incredible? <laughs> Cole just returned from Dallas where he was doing a Stevie Ray Vaughan tribute show. Now, in case you're wondering what he's doing with all of his tips, he goes back into his music for strings. And then he's written some songs, so he has an attorney and all of the copyright and all of that. So that's where the money goes. No but CD I yet? Uh, he's working on it. I want one. <laughs> I saw Cole twice, and the second time, I was like, I've got to find out who this kid is. <laughs> and that's the rest of the story. Exactly. Wow. Nice he job, came Heidi. and said, there's this kid. I'm like, oh, we're on it. <laughs>